Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag, wie geht's there? Here we've got Destroyer. He's coming back in the FV4202 on Fiery Salient. He said, you know what, bro? You thought the other one was good? I can show you one better in this bad boy. And he does it. Let's take a look. This is a tier 10 game. Again, remember the FV4202 is a tier 10. And now I made a mistake in my previous video. And a couple guys call me out on it and help out. They said that... I said in the previous one that as he was shooting gold because of the look of the armored shell here because he had the APCR shells. Those are actually stock. Those are actually stock shells on uh, tier 10 uh, British mediums, such as the FV4202. So I was incorrect about that one. I changed it in the previous video and I included a, a credit to those two dudes uh, for pointing it out for me. But I just want to point out again right here for you guys in case you missed it, this is not a gold round. This is the stock rounds. It's uh, heat rounds would be the gold shell for this for this tank. So immediately we can see here that he's going to play the middle. The typical position for medium tanks. Although sometimes they also go up here where whatever the heck this is. I don't know what this is. Uh, up on the hill up the object 140. Sometimes, me whoops, sometimes mediums also go up there too. M103 going on up there, IS-8, who knows what this guy's doing, Waffentrager, Elf E100, he's kind of hanging in the back, Leopard 1, he's sitting back here, I don't know why you're so far back, we got a Death Star over here, some uh, TDs sitting on the sides, that's usually what they do, yeah, this is, a, this is pretty typical, pretty typical little layout here, a little spread for our tanks, <clears throat> on, on a fiery salient is what it's now called, rather than prof. Prokhorovka. There we go. Can we get a shot on this guy? Looks like side turret. Yep. We'll take that. Mm, looks like he's probably in a def... Uh, there we go. Take a shot right in there too. And again, I should probably point that out for you. We've got 390 damage, 268 pin on this gun. And actually, watching Destroyer in these th in the FV4202, and watching a lot of you guys sending in British medium gameplay, and I was saying before how I really like the British mediums. They seem fast, quick reloads, good good tanks, and how I should. Uh, I should go down those lines. I actually started going down the British medium line right now. Nice shot on that other FV4202. I think I'm on the tier 4. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it Crusader? I don't think it's. I don't think it's Crusader. I can't remember what it is, but I'm on the tier 4 British medium right now, and I like it so far. Gotta get a better gun, a better turret for it. And I'm, I can't wait till I get into the Comet. Or, uh, tier 5. I think it's Tier 5 Comet. I think maybe the Crusader is a 6. I don't know. I don't really know the names of them very well. Again, I'm just starting off, starting off on them. But um, I'm liking it so far. So you can see there that uh, Destroyer is taking side shots on those guys. That's the one thing about playing on the hill is you have to be sure to watch your left side. Too many people get... They get uh, tunnel visioned on the tanks that are right ahead of them. They don't pay attention to the ones that are in like the little city there or in the middle that can, si that, that can shoot them from the side. Destroyer's taking that, they're using that to his advantage, gets himself a good kill and some other damage on those tanks. Oof, I don't know how he bounced off that Fosh. He had a nice side shot on him. Must have just been the distance and the angle somehow it just didn't work for him. I mean, look how maneuverable this thing is. Jeez, he's just flying. Nice to see that leopard got off the back up, up there, and now he's down in the middle a little bit. Mm, can we get... Uh, it's just the tip of his turret. Uh, he's, he's, he's in like a little death lane there. It's going to be pretty hard to get that guy right now. There we go. If he comes out, we could try to get a hit on him. Fortunately, he missed. And actually, he has six cents. That's right. I forgot that he had that on his tank. There 
There we go. There's a side shot. That that had to have he, he had to have sunk that one in. I'd be willing to bet that he did. That leopard. Watch that leopard, dude. He's one to spot. Yeah. So the destroyer is just looking around, trying to find something, trying to find somebody to take a shot at. Tries a quick snapshot there, and he could have got him, but that leopard just got, just got a little bit underneath, I think, his gun. This thing does seem to have really good gun depression, too. I mean, just watching this thing, this, this tank just, just looks fast. There we go. Come on. Yeah. That's good. It's always good when you can knock a tank out. Good leading. I didn't even... The outline didn't even show up there, so that was a really good job leading that batch at. There we go. Want to get some work put on that guy whenever we can. That's the other thing you see here about Destroyer. He just comes up over, he pops up, and then he gets back. I don't know where that shot went. I thought he had that leopard for sure there. Oh, takes his first hit. I thought he had him there too. I don't know where these shots are going. But he pops up, takes a shot, and he gets back. You see that? He takes his quick shot, and he gets back. You really need a fast tank to be able to pull off maneuvers like this, and that it has a quick accuracy. Which is what he does have. Now Foshley shot at earlier, putting putting a shell in there, taking out the commander, but he puts him back in with the med kit. Good choice. And we're actually down two tanks here. Boom. There we go. By rights, though, that leopard one should be gone, because I think... I think Destroyer had a couple shots there. I don't know where they went, but I think he had them. Ooh. A little too long to try to get on that Waffentrager. There you go. There you go. Sixth instinct go off. Everybody's looking down here at these three that are pushing the railroad track. So that's perfect for him to just pop up, take a shot. Not have to worry about it. Enemy armor is damaged. Another good shot in the e yeah, Panzer E100. He put work in there. He's obviously going to have to give you his side. Oh. Ah. He had to give him your side because he couldn't... Um, he could obviously couldn't turn to face turn to face destroyer and leave his side to the Death Star and Object 268 that were in front of him so bad chat yeah this game they're, the enemy team did good but soon as the, we had some guys coming up around the, the train tracks down here at J let's see 6 and 7 it seems like they're just starting to throw away their tanks Destroyers managed to rack himself up four kills. Now it's all about putting in more damage. You gotta get that damage in there. Nice quick reload. Decently quick reload. Feels like about a four or five second reload. Get another one of that Fosh. There you go. That's what he gets for shooting you. STI. 
guy. Oh, must have just hit the dirt below him. Ah, nice leading. Good job. Let him well there. Must have just been underneath him again. There we go. Can we get a hit? Uh. There's got to be another guy we can shoot at, right? I don't think he's even gonna get a hit on these guys anyway from how far but how far away they are. He probably just bounce. Unless he gets a complete side shot like that. Then it won't bounce. Good job, Brosif. Good job. Got himself five kills there. Decent game or not decent. Good gameplay overall, but basically he just set up in the middle there and just took whatever shots that uh, he could get. Let's take a look at those slides. Well, that's not surprising. Mastery Badge, Ace, Tanker. Uh, I mean, look at the list of the tanks. I think, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He almost damaged every single tank. Let me double count that just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. One tank shy. From damaging every single tank. Incredible. Total damage dealt 7,702. Basically 3,500. 3,600 essentially. Well, I'd say, okay, 3,500. More than the IS-7. Which is, I mean, the FE is only a medium tank. Opposing team sorted for damage 3,500. So he did essentially 4,000 more than them. Man, phenomenal. Phenomenal. And that's just, you know, just not being stupid. Just sitting up in the in the middle there. Come up, pop up, take a shot, get back. Come up, pop up, take a shot, get back. Over and over and over again. Just keeps pumping those shots out and doing the damage. That's what you get. You get get you get games like that. Total of 40 shots fired, 25 direct hits, 22 pens. So not bad. Essentially half of them penned. Uh, hits received five, three of them penned, two of them non penned. Um, of course, there are some big guns in the game there. Let's see, total received 66,000 credits received. To, re to repair the vehicle is 21,000. To resupply the ammo is 48,000. So, pretty expensive shells there. Resupply the consumable is 1,500. Must have had some sort of uh, event going on or something. For a total. Of 4,557 loss. Really? Are you kidding me? See, this is the problem right here with, with Wargaming and Premium and not having Premium and whatnot. Dude had Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, did 7,000 damage. 66,000 credits earned and he still ended up with a loss. That's depressing. That's that's just depressing, and it's 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 just shouldn't be that way. Not none of your not has nothing to do with you, destroyer man. You had a great gameplay. I don't think anybody can can they say anything you did there. I think you did a great job. It's just gameplay. It's just uh, war game has got to step their game up a little bit for, with, with the way the credits and stuff works. I understand it's a game you're trying to make money from it, but that's that's that kind of stuff right there shouldn't happen. Anyway, please like the video, leave some love down in the comments for Destroyer because not only because of him ended up losing money on that, which I think is ridiculous, but because he just did a great job. And he actually did better than the previous FV4202 replay. I didn't think he was going to be able to do any better than that, but he said, you know, he said, I did better. Take a look. And sure enough, there it is. Also, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you're interested in donating, you can go ahead and do that. There's a little exclamation point. You click on that. You can donate. 
through either Google Wallet and the link uh, by the exclamation point or down in the in the uh, description, there's a link to uh, a PayPal stuff. You can do it through there too. In any event, I'd appreciate it. Uh, any any of that stuff that goes on, it goes towards goes back towards the uh, to the 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 whole channel and everything. Uh, it goes towards putting in uh, getting a new computer. Hopefully, get better quality uh, looking gameplay. In any event, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in, sh in sending in your replays, you can go ahead and upload them to whatreplays.com. Send me the link at dummy024 at gmail.com. And have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.